The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Good day, my dear students. I am Ma'am Fredely B. Miranda, your teacher in technical drawing. I'm so excited today. I hope that you are too. Join me as we continue another interesting topic in technical drawing. On this lesson, you will learn the following. Number one, enumerate the steps in sketching orthographic drawing. Two, sketch orthographic views. And number three, practice accuracy in drawing. Before we proceed to today's discussion, let's have a recap on the previous lesson first. Do you still recall the principles of orthographic drawing? I will give you the principle and I want you to analyze them. Okay? Directions. Draw a smiley face if the statement is correct and draw a sad face if the statement is wrong. Draw your answer in your quiz notebook. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one. The top view is directly above the right side view. If your answer is sad face, then you are right. Why? Why sad face? Because the top view is directly above the front view. Number two. The side views are horizontally in line with the front view. Did you draw smiley face? That's correct. Let us try on this statement. Number three. The width of the top is or the top view is equal to the width of the side views. If your answer is smiley face, you are absolutely right. How about number four? When a line or edge is viewed perpendicularly to a plane of projection, it appears as a line. Great! The answer is sad face. Why a sad face? Because when a line or an edge is viewed perpendicularly to the plane of projection, it appears as a point. Let's have the last one. Number five. A line or edge parallel to the plane of projection will also appear as a line or edge and its exact or true length. Awesome! The answer is a smiley face. Great job, students! I'm so glad to know that you can still recall the previous topic. And I think you are ready for the next part of this lesson. Today, we're going to study the steps in sketching an orthographic drawing. When you heard the word sketching, what comes in your mind? Awesome! It is a freehand drawing which is drawn without measuring instruments, except for drawing pencil. How about the word technical sketching? Great! 
it is a systematic process of making orthographic or pictorial sketches. Now, let's proceed to the steps in sketching an orthographic drawing. Number one, study the object and determine the views and their arrangement on the drawing paper. In this case, we're going to use a very light lines for your construction line. A vertical line first, followed by a horizontal line. Step 2. Determine the sizes of the views and block in the views. Okay, you're going to get the overall length of the top and the front view. After drawing the vertical and the horizontal line, followed by vertical. Then, this time, we're going to get the height of the front and the height of the right side. Transfer it here, then draw a horizontal line. Then, make a space between views. Assign the space between views here. Whatever the size on the top and the front is the same distance or gap between the front and the right side. Then, get the width of the top and the right side. Okay. Next, number three. Draw the details. Okay, this time you are going to draw the details from your pictorial drawing to your orthographic sketches. You are going to trace the details from the top, front, and right side. Number four. Trace the visible edges and show hidden edges if any. Okay, this time you are going to make or use a heavier line for your visible line. On the top, the visible lines are 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, on the front view one two three four this is line one two three four on the right side one two three four one two three four how about the hidden lines okay if we're going to project on the front this portion is hidden therefore you're going to apply a series of short dashes to show that the part has been invisible or hidden okay I, the same with the right side this part is hidden portion therefore you are going to apply invisible line okay last step is label the views and erase the construction line okay how to label the views okay the top view is labeled on the top of the view. How about the front view? That is labeled below the view. And that is horizontally aligned. The front view and the right side view. Did you get it? Are you ready to construct an orthographic drawing? Before we proceed to the construction of your